Yeah, and no, I'm obviously I'm excited to be to be part of it. It's been I've been going on a, a year now, and I've enjoyed every minute of it. And, and I think probably for the athletes, it's they're just ready to to, to play now. It's uh, it's been a long build up to it. Uh, they're here now, and unfortunately, I won't be able to walk out tomorrow with the uh, with, uh, team Ireland because I'm, I'm away with the, uh, the Galaxy the game in Houston. But my wife will be doing it, so she'd be flying the flag for me. Um, but uh, I'll have an opportunity probably next week to uh, maybe do a bit of training with the lads if, if, if they allow me to. Uh, and I look forward to it. What advice would you give them? Obviously, you've uh, plenty of preparation for big days out, but you know they get one shot at this. So, what, what would your advice be? Just to, just to go out and enjoy. You know, it's. Um, <clears throat> I think when when you walk yourself up too much about uh, playing in games, and I think usually that's when uh, players struggle. I think when you go out and just go out and enjoy yourself and, and be relaxed about it, I think that's when usually you play your best. So that's certainly uh, from from my point of view, that's always been the best uh, for me. So. That's something I'll probably I'll, I'll speak to the lads before they, they play any games. Uh, you know, give them a little bit of a voice. You had a chance to, to meet some of the players uh, earlier in the year in, in Dublin. Um, how do you think they're set to go? Yeah, they look good. Uh, I said that Paul is doing a great job, in, in the coaching with them, um, and they looked well in the last training session. Now I'm sure they'll be even even better for them now because of the, the the weeks leading up to it. I'm sure they have intense training sessions and. Um, Probably can't have too many intense training sessions over here with the weather, but uh, I'm sure Paul will put them through their paces. And, uh, and I said, I'm looking forward to seeing them. You've been over here for a few years now. If, if you're Robbie Keane, the, the tour guide, uh, <laughs> they're here in LA for the week. So what, what should they do when they're not taking part in the game? Well, first, they should be focusing and getting themselves ready for the games. Uh, that, that should be the main priority. And then, obviously, I mean, a bit of downtime. The, the downtime, there's, there's so much to do here, obviously, in LA. Nice restaurants, I'm sure. I'm sure Paul will bring them to a few nice restaurants. Um, I'd bring them if I was here, but I'm away next week for, for a good part of the week with the with the uh, the All Star game. So uh, listen, there's so much to do here, but first and foremost, you have to focus on what they what they're here for is to is to do well for Ireland, representing the country. I mean, you put that uh, put that green jersey on. There's no better feeling in the world. What's your your favourite thing about living in LA? Uh, I just like the lifestyle. It's a good lifestyle. It's uh, you know, fairly, fairly relaxed, and certainly for you know for the family, it's it's, it's very good, very outdoor, outdoory things to do. Obviously, with my son, which uh, I do quite a lot. Uh, he likes going to the beach, so usually usually that quite a bit.